What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video we're checking out how we can use the cage system, specifically in the key of B, to help us create more soloing ideas in the context of Grateful Dead's Sugary. So let's go. So like today's video title mentions, today's video is all about how we can use the caged system in our advantage in soloing over a song like Sugary. Now, on this channel I've mentioned caged I think quite a lot as a way to break down the fingerboard into smaller sections, right? Because a lot of us, you know, and myself included in the past, will take a song like Sugary and say, where do I go, right? Or you may default to one specific area on the fingerboard. So with that being said, the question in hand today, or I guess the question will answer, maybe, is that the right way to say it? <laughs> is how can we break down the fingerboard using Caged to give us mini ballparks to create a solo over Sugary. So with that being said, let's dive right into today's video. So before we dive into the finer points of today's video, here's a quick review on the Sugary riff, which I'm sure we all already know. <laughs> Like a lot of songs in the Grateful Dead catalog, Sugary has a very strong Mixolydian sound. And the scale we're going to use for today's video is B Mixolydian. And if you don't know already, Mixolydian is a major scale but with a flat 7 degree. So in the key of B, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. And already right there, if you didn't pick up, our first, let's say, caged playing field is our A shape B chord. And we can play Mixolydian off this second fret of A root. And you'll see in down the video how that shape can be used for the solo. Now let's go to our next shape we can do, which is let's say our G shape B chord. And there is that matching B Mixolydian scale. Now let's go to our E shape. Same idea, here's our B Mixolydian. If we go now to our D shape, B chord, we can use this scale. Whoops. There it is. 
And then finally we have our C shape. Which that's gonna look like. Right? And that covers our five shapes of B mixolydian using caged as our checkpoints, right? And what's cool about that is now you can sort of see the whole fretboard as B mixolydian, you know? <laughs> And there, using caged, just by connecting dots, we can go B mixolydian across the full fingerboard. At that point, you know, you're deciding in your soloing, how do you want to create dynamics by going higher? Or do you want to start low? And then as the song goes, gradually get higher to a big crescendo, let's say at the end of the solo. Right? So for example, if we're doing something, if we're starting off, let's say here, some phrases. Etc. Now let's go to our E shape B chord, right? So like this. right here off of our E-shaped B chord. Now let's focus on our D-shaped B chord. Some more phrasing can be And finally, let's say we want to go to our C-shaped B chord as our final checkpoint. Again, I'm predominantly saying in these shapes and still playing the changes, right?
How about that? And let's do one more for fun. Our A shape, right? Something like... You know what I mean? So if there was any one takeaway from today's video is when you loop sugary and you're going into whether it's improvise or just practice or like composing a solo, use these cage shapes as checkpoints on the guitar so you're not all over the place you're actually quite the opposite you're sticking to one main area saying the most that you can in that specific area and then maybe expanding those ideas by just going to the next shape the next shape and now your ideas have a gradual rise so it's not all just bam 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 <laughs> i don't even know if that makes sense but everything has a nice flow to it and that will take your song to the next level all right guys that's today's video how we could use the caged system to help us create more fun soloing ideas over the grateful dad's sugary if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.